Hey y'all, what is up? It's your girl Second with Divine, aka the Brown Yogi, and today I'm going to be making a white box. <laughs> of some higher quality photos for my Etsy shop. So I've decided to do a quick DIY. This is an eight by eight by eight box. The owner, Enola Beauty, sent me my products in this box. So I actually save all boxes. I save all my boxes because um, I just never know when I'm gonna need them. So I'm super glad that I saved this because I decided this would probably be the perfect size um, for me to make my white box. I went ahead and cut off this flap and then I decided that this is what I'm going to like put like my my cans gonna go right up in front of here. So I cut this whole side out and because like she taped it so well it's still like completely fine. I was worried that I was gonna have to like put super glue or something together but like if you don't have a box and you just have random pieces of cardboard you could absolutely glue them together. So all I did was cut this down and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of these two off. Awesome, so I went ahead and cut off the two other flaps and so I'm left with this. But what I'm gonna do is um, later on, I'm gonna try to cut this down a little bit more, get these sides a little bit more like flush. This was like a really rough scissors to use. And then I'm taking some um, white poster sheets and I'm going to be lining the insides and the bottom, I think I will too, with the white. The purpose of the white background is so that the product actually stands out. It will attract more light into the photo and it'll give it a professional feel with low input. You can even start to get really creative with adding extra props in there too. We have successfully trimmed off all of the excess and we glued this down so it's flush. You can see the hot glue there. So next we have to put the white poster sheets on to make this all white. So what you see here is actually my partner measuring out the sides on the white sheet to see how much paper we needed. Once he made the first block or square, he was then able to use that as the template for the three other sides. And as he is so wonderfully demonstrating, if you don't have a ruler, just find any type of straight edge you have laying around. Here we are just double checking and making sure that the first square does fit well and from there on out we use that as a template for the other sides. Here we have all four sides completed so the next step is just making sure they are glued in place and they don't move. Here is the beautiful finished piece. My product photos look so amazing. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean. Mm -hmm. 